Back in college, I heard a lecturer say, wherever you are, be all there. There's something simple yet profound about that statement. I know that wherever I am, well, that's where I am, right? But am I all there? Is my focus and my attention completely there? And that reminded me actually, as I was at the playground this past weekend with my kids next to a soccer field, it reminded me of coaching little girls eight years ago who were on the soccer field. And I remember a few of them on this really gorgeous day that actually wandered off the soccer field to go and chase butterflies. Literally, they were off, they weren't on the sidelines, they were actually playing the game and they left the game to go chase butterflies. And I'm just thinking about, man, how many times have I left my attention from what's really right in front of me, what matters most, to go chase butterflies? If I'm doing that, then I'm not really going to win in my business context, in my professional life, or in my personal life. So my wonder this week is about how I can be an example of undeterred focus for others to inspire them but also just to be the best, uh, the best possible shape personally in my professional and in my personal life. So I thought about three different things that I try to do and I'm still learning and still trying to get better at to, to be that example. And number one, it's, it's how I participate. The way that I participate, right? Whenever I'm doing something, is, is my complete attention there? Is it my sole focus? One thing I try to do in the professional sense, especially in meetings, is not take my computer because my computer becomes a major distraction. Notebook only, completely focused on the people who are involved in the meeting. Number two, it's the way that I f facilitate, right? When I host a gathering, a, a meeting, do I have a clear agenda and a clear purpose and goals? Do I invite only the right people? And if we get done, if we make the decisions, if we walk away with, with uh, accomplishing the goal we set forth, do I just end it, right? The way I facilitate, I try to make sure that we have complete focus and when we get done, we're done. And number three, it's the way I recuperate. And that's really something that's top of mind for me right now as I get ready to go on a vacation with my family. When I'm off stage, not in the professional context uh, and more focused on my personal personal relationships and time, am I completely focused there? The way that I recuperate, have I completely put work aside and focus only on those things and those people that matter most. Those are three ways that I try to be an example of undeterred focus. I'd love to hear the ways that you've implemented in your life and in your story to have that focus, to be all there wherever you are. A person that's really inspirational to me and to some of you who are watching this recently said that we measure success not by the state of our products and the value that they bring to market, but more on the state of our relationships. And I'm convinced that if we want our relationships to be successful, then we're gonna to have to have an undeterred focus in the way that we interact with others. That's my challenge for you this week, is be all there.